welcome back to my channel my name is Jenna if you're new here this is my crafting uh, kind of vlog channel where I share about things that I'm working on in my knitting crochet cross stitch quilting and maybe anything else that I decided to start I hope everyone is doing well if you're returning welcome back um, January so far has been good to me so I'm back for another January um, update I usually try to do at least one video a month but if I get enough crafting done I can have two today is January 20th it's a Saturday it's really cold here in New York City um, I think we finally broke our snow streak so New York City had like 700 and something days without any snow and it snowed twice this past week which I'm really excited about I really really love the snow um, I'm just watching my bird feeder right now and it's empty and that's just reminding me that I have to feed it, uh, fill it up. Um, other than that, I hope everyone is doing really, really good. I am in my technically technical crafting room slash space. Um, this is also kind of like our extended closet. It's the second bedroom in our apartment, but it's actually really, really small. And this actually was my childhood bedroom when I was growing up. But um, it's just me and my boyfriend here now, so we get to use the other bedroom. And so this was my crafting space, but in the summer, uh, I had a leak in here. So behind me, you can't really see much other than like this stuff here, but it is a mess from stuff that we've had to move all around our apartment while we were having repairs done in our bathroom, um, in our bedroom. And so there's still some lingering work to be done. I mean, the leak here, the wall isn't completely fixed, but at least the leak has stopped. So I apologize for kind of some of the chaos behind me, but I am really glad to be back in this space. If you follow me at all on Twitch TV, this is actually where I have started doing my streaming. I have paused for a few months. I'm hoping to get back to it. Um, but yeah, this is also my streaming space. And as you can see, I also share this space with um, 40, I think I'm down to, no, I'm not in the forties anymore. I think I'm down to like 37 plants. Um, as things have died, I've let them, I've let them go. And I've been really focusing on the plants that I personally enjoy. So that's been a way that my collection has been shrinking. Um, but yeah, let's get into the crafting. That's what you're here for. So first thing that I want to show, which I didn't show in my last video because my boyfriend was still wearing them was I had finished my Thanksgiving socks. So these are, uh, I don't think it's a free pattern, but it is on Ravelry. Um, this green is in the Lorna Dune colorway, colorway by Bumblebee Acres. And this is a DK weight sock, which my boyfriend is really enjoying the DK weight socks. He wears his socks into the ground and these have been proving to be really durable. Um, the green I just did with one strand. You could do it with two strands of fingering to get the DK. And then the heel, the toe, and the cuff I just did in like a charcoal patent quarry that you can get at Michael's. So he's already worn them, so that's why they kind of look a little bit worn already. But he really, really likes them. So the lighting in this room is also kind of weird. So I'm debating if I do want to record in here or do I want to continue to use my bedroom to record where I was previously because the grow lights from my plants also kind of give this weird color um, to projects that I'm showing. There's grow lights behind me and then you can't see, but there's also grow lights in front of me. But I am next to a natural light window. I don't know, it's also a really overcast, cold day. Anywho, Thanksgiving socks, yay! So I usually try to have at least one um, sock project going at all times because it's an easy travel project that can bring it to like a variety of places. So I'm gonna be starting hopefully another sock soon. I don't know if it'll be for myself or for him, but we'll see. So here are his socks. And maybe I'll stay with knitting for now because I do have another knitting whip that I got progress on. I'm sorry, I don't really have a good place to keep like the stuff that I want to show. There's so much stuff around me. It is kind of like being in a closet with like a little corner for my craft table. <laughs> it's really interesting. Um, this project that I'm showing has, is one that I've been working on for a long, long time. So I started this project when my friend Candice um, 
Boo Boo Kitty slash uh, Slub Lover Stitches on Instagram came to visit me. And that was in like 2021 or I don't think 2020. I think 2021. Um, no, I think 2020. Anywho, this pattern was in my uh, to-do list for a while, even longer than that. And then I finally started it. I'm trying to find the main page so I can show you. This is the Storyteller Hoodie by Karina Spencer. And I am doing it in a uh, worsted Madeline Tosh um, yarn in the colorway Moreland. So I'll show you the label. Let's see if I can get it out. So this is the label. And it's in the color Moreland. Thank goodness I purchased more recently because it is now discontinued. So I, I know you really should buy all the yarn when you're making your project, but these yarn balls, check out, like, that's not cheap. So, and I'm a bigger woman, so when I make sweaters or cardigan, cardigans, like, I need a lot of yarn. And so I couldn't just, like, buy all six balls at once. But I did find two more online, and I'm also finding that um, <laughs> I didn't need that many more. I like needed a half a ball, but I have two, so maybe I'll, I'll save one for a yarn swap uh, with friends or something. Sorry, my yarn ball, yarn ball just fell. And so here I am. I'm almost done. Uh-oh, I can't lose my needles. I am almost done. I did switch this on to... What is going on? I am so tangled up. Onto some longer needles just so I could show you guys. So this is the hood. And I've been working on, I picked up stitches along the band. Yeah, I don't know about filming in this room, guys. Um, I picked up stitches along the band. It'd be hard to see. And I wanna give a huge thanks and shout out to my friend Deb, Stitch the Stash who really helped me um, at our last stitchy meetup really figure out how to do this because while my gauge, I remember my gauge being pretty on, but it must have not been correct with wise throughout the whole project because when I went to pick up stitches, I was noticing I didn't have as many as they said should have fit. Um, so she helped me with kind of the knitting math stuff. And so it's working out great. So I have um, just, I think I'm going to be binding off actually. So this is my start over here and I'm going to start binding off, but I have to wind up another yarn ball that sucks. I know I might have to reattach it on the bind off, which will really suck, but I might do a Russian join so that, um, it looks a little bit more seamless. I might try that, but, um, I'm really loving how it looks and it is so, so soft. I actually might put it on to show you guys. It does fit a little bit weird right now. And unfortunately, another thing about some of these projects was I've been working on this so long. And in that time, I have unfortunately put on a little weight. So um, the size is not what I dreamed of, but I'm hoping that I could at least leave it open for right now. I am going to shop for buttons and I am trying my best to get my health in order this year. I found out I had autoimmune disease, which really helps explain why I've been having such a hard time with my weight in general. Um, I did injure my knee, so I haven't been running for about three to four months. And I am trying to just get back into the gym and use my bike more and do some more low impact stuff and um, until I'm able to get to PT for my gym and start um, PT for my knee and start running again. So anywho, my health is all over the place, but my cardigan will fit hopefully in the end. So here it goes. Check it out. I'm so excited. I'll stand up a little bit. So yeah, it won't come down more. I don't want to pull um, too much on my needles for it. Hold on, let me fix it up. My gosh, I'm such a mess. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I don't want to pull too much, but I think it's going to be great once it's off. Um, I am going to try to be really good about, uh, what do you call that process? Blocking it the right way. 
but I am really loving the hood on this because I tend to like really have a hard time fitting all my big hair in hoods and right now my hair is not as long as it could be but it's getting long and I tend to do cut it but I have big hair so sometimes hoodies don't fit quite right and this one was really nice so it's fit pretty pretty good and it does have buttonholes which were tricky with the picking up along the edge because I didn't have the exact number of stitches so in that part where it was telling me I have to make the buttonholes I had to kind of um, imagine where I would want the buttons and do my own um, yarn overs and stuff like that but I think it'll be just fine and if I do end up needing less buttons I did do less buttonholes but if I end up not needing the top button then I'll just sew that part closed so it's, there's not a hole oh my gosh made my hair crazy so that is my storyteller hoodie I'm really really loving it the yarn is super beautiful and this will actually be like I have made a shirt for myself I won't say I haven't made sweaters um but I think this will really really be like the first garment that I make for myself that um uh, I did make the spring tea I don't know how to explain how I feel about this um I think I put more heart into this one for myself so I am really excited for it to be done you know I really paid tried to pay attention to the gauge I invested in a good yarn for it, um, my spring tea. I did do like a knit picks budget yarn, which is fine, but I was still new to knitting garments in general. So I didn't want to like go all out and then not like what I knitted. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling excited about this particular piece. So now I will dive a little bit into my cross stitching, which I'm really excited about my cross stitching too. And I will show a new start. So this is a piece I'm doing another Pokemon TCG card and this one is from Birdie Stitching. So I am doing Machamp and I'm stitching it on one of those pre-framed little Ida square thingies in black and I haven't shown this on my Instagram yet so it'll be a spoiler because sometimes I try to do like a who's that Pokemon and have people guess. Uh, let me see if I have anything. I can put the bag behind it a little bit. So really not much of a start there. It's really hard to see with the color. But it's going. It's going. I'm really excited about it. Sorry for the banging. My building is like over 100 years old and we still have steam. So if it starts to bang loud, that's just my heat coming up. And this I'm making for uh, one of my boyfriend's friends who treated us all out to like this night out restaurant wise and then to our first hockey game as a with his friends as well and we had great seats and he wouldn't let us pay for anything and it was really nice and I found out he likes the champ and so I just dropped my all my stuff out of this bag onto the floor um it's really bad um so I'm, I'm stitching this as a gift thank you to him He's one of my uh, boyfriend's Pokemon friends. So that's that. Let me see if I can grab this stuff really quick. Oh my gosh. This is also what happens when I film in a new location. I'm not used to like where I'm going to place things down and, and all that kind of crazy stuff. Another new start that I want to show. This was supposed to be my New Year's start and... I ended up starting it a little late because I realized I didn't have the fabric that I needed for it. I thought I did and then I dug around and then I didn't so I ordered kind of late. And this is in my new bag from, um, oh my god I always forget her name right off the top of my head. Um, ja Jasmine's bag plus, oh my gosh I can't believe I'm forgetting her name right now. She usually stitches a little a little thing on it. I don't see it on this bag. Oh my gosh, but if you're wondering, she has an Instagram, she makes and sells great bags. I fell in love with this fabric and so she made me one in the big size, which I really, really love. And I have another one of her bags that's like cactus and succulent theme that um, Deb, my friend, got me from her as well that I really, really love. And inside here is my New Year's start. 
And I have to say, this was one of those charts that I fell in love with instantly when I got back into cross stitching and I found it on Instagram and um, on floss tubes. And I just fell in love with it, which was um, And a Forest Grew by Rosewood Manor. Sorry that there's a glare from my plant light lights. So I decided that this year I'm finally going to start it. This has been in my stash, oh my gosh, for like six years or more. And I am super, super stoked to start it. I am doing it in DMC threads. And let me see if I find the fabric that I'm using. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Haha, -ha, I made myself like, I'll be giving these out when I go to retreats. Um, but I also have made them into little project cards for myself to help me remember my projects. And hopefully other folks will find that useful too. Um, this is on 25 count vintage smoky white Lugana. And this is the first time that I am stitching with just one strand. And I didn't know if I would like it, but I really, really do. So this is two over one. Wait, 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 did I just say two over one? I mean one, oh my gosh, one over two, one over two. So I wrote it wrong on here, I have to correct it. Am I going over two? No guys, hold on, wait. One over one. So this is one over one for me. So I have to correct that. But I am loving it. I love trees, I love nature. Um, I really love the quote in the middle. I did want to kind of, I know it's not a super biblical kind of stitch, but I did want to start kind of something biblical this year as um, my own personal spiritual journey has kind of floated in that direction this year. And I bought some other charts for one, two, three stitch because that fabric couldn't travel alone. So I might share those towards the end, but that was my start on that. And I am super excited for it. So I'm hoping to give it um, a few more hours in a rotation coming up and then try to keep working on it this year. That, so that was my new year start. I am also planning on having a leap year start, which I'm excited for. My last leap year start is still not done. Um, that one might get some progress shown in my next video. So I'll try to mention it when it comes up. Next project, and I think my last one to show actually in this video, yep, is my Seasonal Cottage. So from this book, Seasonal Cottages by Herkshners. So I am stitching the spring, fall, summer, and winter cottage from this book. And I put them in my rotation depending on the season. So now we're in winter. So I am stitching on the winter cottage. So let me see if I find it. This is my winter cottage. And I am stitching this three over one full cross um, DMC thread on a piece of 14 count um, eight Ida that I dyed myself. And I'll show you where I am. I might have to take, oh no, it's not in the hoop. Yay. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. And there I am. So I think last year I didn't even have, let me see if I can hold this up the right way. I didn't even have any of this done. This whole side wasn't done. So when I came back to it, I actually had finished all of the back stitching over here and I had to do these French knots. These are not the best French knots either. So don't look at them closely, but I think they look pretty good. They don't look too bad. So I stitched all of this since then. So I'm hoping for another, hopefully at least two, maybe three rotations on this. And isn't this Ida so great? This is when I first like started um, dyeing fabric randomly. So I was just dyeing just generic 14 count Ida for Michaels that you can get. And I dyed them specifically for this piece. So I'm really excited. It's looking so cute. Pretty awesome. So I'm excited for my winter cottage. All right, and I think that is it 
I don't have any book updates, unfortunately. I am still plugging through some really, really dense books right now, so I don't have a book update. I think then I will just show, um, I know I don't normally do haul, but since it's here, I'll show some of the other patterns that I am hoping maybe to start this year, because they were kind of smallish. So I am going to two retreats this year. I'm going to Stitch North. I'm going to the second weekend. So I'm hoping to have a small. So I'm deciding that if I start something at retreats this year, I want them both to be small. So I'm bringing a small start to Stitch North. I haven't decided what that'll be yet. And then I'm also going to the New Jersey Stitch NJ retreat in July. And so I'm going, I'm going to pick something small to start then too. So some of these are contenders, because as I said, I kind of really want to start um, maybe like a more bib biblical stitch. So my mom wants to stitch the one I'm about to show, but if any of you know my mom, she stitches like that. And like, not that I'll get like mad or anything that she's going to finish it first, but I, I at least want to start it. So um, this is Plum Street Samplers. And this I know is the pattern. So it says, Jesus loves me, this I know. Which I do want to let my mom stitch because she's been going through some really crazy stuff right now. And uh, we are both finding some strength in um, Jesus, which is great. And I also got some, these I had on my Etsy cart and I didn't realize they had hard copies. So when I was on 123 Stitch, I, I saw them come up. So this is by... Um, my Big Toe Cross Stitch Designs and I Can Do All Things. So this one is a contender for maybe a retreat start. And I think I would want to try some of the over dies for this. So the Fancy Floss would be Gentle Art, which I don't have many. But it only needs one, two, three, four, five. So maybe that's not that many. Or I might see what I can sub with color and cotton because I have a ton of color and cotton. I was in their thread club and in their fabric fabric club. And then um, this is another one by My Big Toe Cross Stitch Designs again. He first loved us. And I've also purchased some of these because I did make a piece for one of the sisters at my church and I was thinking of making her another kind of little thing for her office. So I was thinking of one of these. Um, and so those are the three that came with my fabric for my New Year start. So I'm thinking of starting one of those or I have a whole slew. I have like one of those little plastic binder folder things of stuff that I've been wanting to start and it is packed full. I was like subscribed to Cross Stitch, Cross Stitch Crazy for like three years and I like dog-eared a whole bunch of patterns in there. So I just really don't know what I'm going to start. I do know I want to start small things this year. Um, some of my big, big pieces are due to be done this year, which I'm really excited about. Like, I should be done with my epic Pokemon this year, so I want to hold off on starting Gen 2 or another super huge project. Um, until then, I know a forest crew is an enormous project, so that is going into the back rotation. Um, and I do have a few other smaller whips that are just really, really close, and with one or two of, like, my five-hour rotations, they could be done. So I'm really hoping to um, continue to get around to some of my whips this year using my wheel and then marking them off as I go. And I think that's about it. I really am trying to hold back on some of these bigger starts, but it is really tempting because I have some great charts in my collection that I really want to get to stitching. And if I start it all, look at my apartment. It is small. It is crazy. I really struggle with where to store things and I don't want too many projects sharing bags because I realized recently that when I do that like and I want to work on them, trying to find them is bringing me so much stress because then I just don't want to craft at all. So I really am just trying and the answer is not buying more project bags either because um, I have nowhere to store them. So I really am just trying to be more mindful of that because it takes away from the time that I want to spend crafting when I'm frustrated looking for what I want to craft on. But anywho, I think that's it. I hope everyone is having a great January. 
If you enjoy the cold and the snow, I hope you are enjoying this weather. If you don't enjoy it, I hope you're warm and toasty somewhere. We just got the heat fixed in my living room and so we are happy even though we are cold lovers. We also like to be warm when we're home. Um, and I hope everyone is just doing what gives their hearts joy and delight. And I hope everyone stays happy and healthy and enjoys the rest of their month. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.